has everything. Bumping in, banging. <laughs> Big Boy's Big Neighborhood, God. ladies and gentlemen, she's back. Woo! Fergie, Ferg! Hey. Hello. What up, Fergie? What's up, neighborhood? The neighborhood. Gotcha. Fergie, are you ready to do all this again? <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, okay. I'm hungry. I, oh, really? Oh, not like thirsty. Not, you say not, not, not thirsty. Not thirsty. But hungry. 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 I got to get you a hat. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Now, let, let me ask you this. Now, of course, with the success... Did you need, at some point, do you need, like, kind of a, a getaway, even though you didn't disappear, but do you, did you feel like you needed kind of, kind of to step back a little bit? Yeah. In well, life? In life, absolutely, yeah. always possible. Uh, yeah, joining the Black Eyed Peas, remember I was, like, living at my mom's mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. got on tour, did two albums, uh, El Funk, Monkey Business, went right into The Duchess, mm-hmm. my first solo album in my life. And then went right back into uh, the the end mm-hmm. and the beginning. And it was like tour, world tour. It was like eight or nine years straight. I was just living out of oh. luggage. So it was great because it's in one area of my life. It's like I got to the top of the hill. Yeah, man. Hey, like, mama, I did the top mm-hmm. of the hill. And <laughs> that's from Milf Money. Hello, <laughs> hello, anyway, hello. Just love it. <laughs> um, and, and so, but in other ways, it's like, I was behind Mm -hmm. because I was just living in luggage and like living the, you know, rock and roll life Uh and like Mm -hmm. kind of going from city to city and clubs and after parties and it, you know, and, and, and shows and. And what could appear fun to some. And you still enjoy yourself. But but at some point it it had to get not, not that it's not fun because I've been doing a lot in my career as well. But at some point you do get to where it's like. Like, man. I need a if, break. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, seriously, I need a breath. Yeah. So what and do you so, do during this break, Fergie? Like, so, well, I had to get home because it's like I wanted to have a, a baby. Mm-hmm. And so just getting home. First of all, learning how to live out of a drawer. Right. Not out of luggage. <laughs> My friend, she was like, okay, I'm having an intervention with you. Get the fuck out of suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have drawers. Yes. You live at home now. This is how we if, hang If things. you want to go on a trip. <laughs> You pack a luggage. Right, yeah. You don't just stay in you there. You were still with doing me. lobby calls. I was like, okay. I felt really uncomfortable with all this going in the drawers. Like, okay, is this okay? Yeah. Is everything going to be thing? all right? I'm nervous. So it was really weird. So I had to, <laughs> it sounds so stupid. What but do it's you just miss? my reality. What do you but, miss about those big old tours like that too, though? Well, I'm about to. I'm about to start I back know. up. So yeah. So yeah. And, and, so you live out of you live out of drawers. So so finally living out of drawers. Um, get pregnant, uh-huh. have a baby. I'm all like about like okay, let me clear everything from my life so I can put this child first mm-hmm. because that was one thing that was really important to me. It's like this. Mm-hmm. I got to learn how because I had no idea what I was doing. I wasn't like oh I've got you know I've been holding my nieces and you know flipping yeah. it up. Yeah. No, that was not me at all. The crash course. <laughs> so I was like. God, just, you know, back in the days, you just, you know, went by your instincts yes. and friends. And so that's what I did. And it was so great. It was just so natural and, and He's adorable. Aww. Yeah, thanks. So thanks. I'm cute. a proud, I'm a very proud mommy. That but, is dope. Uh, so, so, yeah. So there's that. And then, uh, and so putting it first. And then it was like, meanwhile, I'm writing in my journals. Because you can do that you know, right. anywhere, mm-hmm. you know, all, all throughout. Like, all of it. Touring, coming off tour, just, you know, about just life situations that you know, aren't appropriate to put on a Black Eyed Peas album because they would take up too much me space Mm -hmm. there, you know, and feel kind of selfish. So saving that all up for this. Uh, And so going back and putting in, so after having Axel, it's like putting back in my workout time and, Mm -hmm. you know, when do I get my nails done? And how, like, how does, how does all of this, uh, because I will bite these things off and it's just like, (laughs) it's not even cute. Um, But, but, but then going to the studio First of all, finding time to get right and get my stuff right before right. I go in the studio. Mm-hmm. Then getting to going to the studio, and then having to cut off my stu- being there for a certain amount of hours. Yeah. Then having to cut it off because I couldn't stay in there till five in the morning because I had to wake up at seven thirty. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's so it's all that, and so my hours in the studio weren't as long. It's I had to do fewer hours at a time. I hear you. So everything took so damn long and I thought it would be done like I came with you with yes. LA Love we remember <laughs> yeah. you're in my video you're, your neighborhood is in my video and I've been yeah. here for yes. over two years I know and we did that at Power Dude, so I thought that after that I was like I'll just finish the album like, and this put it is out it. <laughs> this is it I'm going oh my gosh and then it's like I get back in it's like it's not done and I'm like I have you know 
I started filming video uh, videos, and I'm like, I'll get you know a couple of them done, so that when it's done, I don't have to stop. <laughs> oh my gosh! So everything started taking forever. I felt horrible. Like I really did. I felt so bad because I'm like telling everybody it's coming, it's coming, I'm coming for you, and it's like I am. But it just took like ten times as long. It's like construction. When it's like the, building the the home of your dreams, and it just takes forever. When did and you the don't Duchess even realize drop it. as an album? When does the Duchess? When did not not double no, Duchess? No, the Duchess. Yeah, that Duchess. was in two thousand. Is end of two thousand six or two thousand seven? Wow, or beginning of two thousand seven? Yeah, so it's been eleven years. And then when did you start recording double, double Duchess? Well, I've had things things in my journals that have come up on this album uh-huh. have been like I can't even tell you what years right. they yeah. were from, but but yeah, really getting into it. You know, MILF Money was obviously inspired by... <laughs> yeah, hello. What, you know, started but off... But even with MILF but, Money, right? But, we, yeah. we had the the, the L.A. Yeah. love, and I'm like, okay, it's about to come. Right. And then when I saw MILF Money, I'm like, oh, man, she got the is. cameos, it's about to happen. Mm-hmm. And and then that, that's that been a little bit of time. I know. You know what it is? It's just... Exactly. But like I said, it's like construction. It, t- it took forever. Yeah. Every song, I thought it was coming right afterwards. And then I just finally... I was like, screw it. I'm doing a video for every song because if it's like if it's taking this long and people are so pissed at me and and I'm pissed at my I'm pissed at the whole process. It's just annoying. I might mm-hmm. as well just do a full body of work, make a freaking movie. I don't know how much I can cuss on her here because Please I have, I have a trash now. <laughs> um, so I did. I made a movie, a visual experience, and it comes out an I pick. Uh, Wednesday, That's dope. September twentieth. I heard you that. can go and yes, I made a movie. So when does the album? <laughs> so, I think I think we got, I we think first back. musician to put, to go put it in a movie in movie theaters for like That's for so their awesome. album. Yeah. Man, so, and, and but you you so it's called seeing double, in, seeing double, seeing double. Why seeing, seeing double? Du- not double. double, seeing double, double. That's double, what I said. Why double judges? judges. Yeah. Okay. Ah, hello, easy hey. call. All right, <laughs> seeing the uh, devil. I'm off the mustard. I'm now in the ketchup. Man, when I first heard the title of the new album, Double Duchess. Yeah. I thought that was so dope. Mm-hmm. You Thank know you. what I'm saying? Because Thank when you. you think when you think the Duchess and then the Double Duchess, just just such a great play on the words right. as well, man. And you I know gotta what get I'm my Double Duchess game. Yeah. So, <laughs> this this is so, so, so in but any no. of the visuals for for the album, do you Double Duch? <laughs> uh, no, no, we do oh, okay. have some da- some dancers to um doing a couple pieces. Uh, I don't want to get too much away. <laughs> yeah, right, right. It's not. It's not that feature. That's not the big theme. That's just a little another play on words. But they, we do have some jump rope. Some some double dutches. We tried. Uh, I tried to do some jump, a little jump rope. Mill funny, which wasn't double dutch. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, so- but, but 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 here we go. It really does feel like uh, to answer your what you were saying. It does feel like the Duchess part two. Yeah. Because it's really, I'm not. I didn't make an album every year, so it really is a special event. It took forever. It's like. But it's, that's good too that you did take your time. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. usually we, we want everything is super served. We want it now. Mm-hmm. We want you know what I'm I saying? Know, I Here know. today, gone tonight. Like it gets it's hurtful. A, I was really? Like, yeah, I was like, oh my gosh. Were you hearing like, that a lot? Were people asking you when is the oh, album coming? Oh yeah, and I see all this stuff is written, and it's like you know, <laughs> people don't hold back. But you didn't give us like a, like a lot of fake dates or times. I don't no, remember man, that. I did. And it I wasn't kept, like Dr. I, Dre detox. No disrespect, Dre <laughs> detox. Oh my gosh. But the detox was the thing that never came out, mm-hmm. and we were waiting on it. Was was titled mm-hmm. and you know what I'm saying. I didn't feel like it was like okay. When is this coming? When is this coming? When when I saw Milf Money, when I saw I didn't I wasn't expecting or waiting for an album because you didn't say oh September. No, I didn't have a date. Right, so I was so scared because it kept taking longer than I thought, and I just you know it's like construction. Like I said, it ta- I was like I had no idea. And in the middle of all this, an offer came to me that I that I couldn't refuse, Uh-oh. and it was oh. to have my own label. Oh, and so I, in the middle of that, you know, I'm doing business behind the scenes, and everyone's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I can't I'm talk. Working. Can't working. talk about it. So making it's, boss moves, you know it, what I'm saying? Hey, 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 hello, Louis. So, so, hello. Yeah. hello. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> so doing that, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And and executive producing this album myself, it was a lot more responsibility. Plus, mm-hmm. I'm doing like 13 movies at one time. Uh, putting it all together, it's it's just a lot. And now being mom, it's so it's it's I'm doing the family schedule, I'm doing all of it, and balancing. Is that going to be hard to tour, Fergie? Because you're about to be in Brazil. Yeah, yeah. It, is he's that not gonna... coming, he's not coming with okay. Axel's not coming with me um, this time. But yeah, the de- the family will definitely come back out. I can't be like away from right. My son yeah, that yeah, long. yeah. So yeah, it's definitely not for the first just little first promo run. But yeah, touring 
absolutely. We're we're gonna go see everything. We're gonna go see the world That's through Axel's beautiful. eyes. Oh my god, that is yes. beautiful, man. Yes, exactly. And then like you know, take once my kids a, with once you. every uh, take my kids with once you. every <laughs> on the week on the maybe on the weekend we'll do an after party. You know, at the club, Hello. get to get a little treats. <laughs> nothing, nothing wrong in my eyes with the you know a little parents, a little mommy, <laughs> mommy getting a little treat, go ahead now. Hey. a little time at the club. <laughs> he does have a on the album, but doesn't yeah. he? Not every, he does have not a feature night, on the album. He, oh, yes, he does. So, so how, like, Axel Jack. I, I want to yeah. hear, like, what does it sound like when... It sounds like him. He's so cute. Um, <laughs> it, it was this song, Enchanté, uh, that I started writing when I was in Paris doing my album art. Karine is also <laughs> part of the, the um, named after Karine Rotterfeld. That's a whole nother story. But uh, Axel Jack, I brought the song home, and it's I my... Chorus, the way I sing it is Enchanté, comment allez-vous? Très bien, merci, et vous, et vous, et vous, et vous, et vous, et vous. And, and he started singing it because it's kind of like, he's like, Enchanté, comment allez-vous? Très bien. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. When you hear your kids singing in French, I was just, That's my dope. heart melted and I put the phone. Uh, like on record, and I just started playing with them. You know, nothing that he wouldn't. You know, like he right, wouldn't right. Know. He's wouldn't, being recorded. No, no, yeah. it's just normal playing. Cause he does this all the time. He makes up his own his own songs. songs. Is he signed wow. to your label? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. What is yeah. His yeah. Album yeah. I definitely I would, started. If yeah, I started. I would definitely he's, be getting, like, man, he's definitely getting royalties. Keep it all. Does he? Do, do you see that he he has it? Like I look at like I like entertaining. I look at my daughter and I'm like, okay, wow. Like she has mm-hmm. it. Do you see it in your son? My son, you know, I'm such a typical mom. He's got it. He's got it everything. He is my it. Yes. No. So, I was going to say the same thing with a sound break of You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he I is know. my it. I yeah, I mean, he loves to, to sing. He loves to dance. He loves to play superhero. He lo- Like, we just had this huge pirate birthday party. And Aww. an invite, I put... Axel's turning far. 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 Yes. He's yes. turning far. Yes. yes. So, so I was like, yes, I did that. And so we, and all the presents are pirates. So I'm trying to, you know, do the thank you notes while we open the, with the, you know, the list. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who but while we're what? opening all the gifts and we have like pirate stuff all over the house now. But my room in particular, our, our room is, has a huge pirate ship because you have to, okay. It's about this tall because uh-huh. you build it with these sticks. I'm trying to stay on mic. Right. <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting up here for those. I can't see this. Get up. These these sticks, were, oh, which are about like this big. And then these little. What are you doing? You put them, I don't know. <laughs> I, know. I don't know. It's like, I don't She's know. making a hand gesture. What, what is going on with this? That, I don't know. That, I don't know. That, I don't know. I don't know. Wait, what? This is a child's birthday party? That one made me want to go home to my no, wife. Straight up, straight up, straight up as long as this. Uh, okay. Four foot deep. Made with these um poles and little holes that you stick it in. Okay. You, you have a like, poles and holes poles that you stick yeah, it in. Poles like, and holes and forget we yeah, still talking about a ship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And me and Axel made that at breakfast. Okay, Aww. all right, I got you, I got you. Yes, okay, brought yes. it back to the child. Okay, cool. Yes. I don't know where we were going yes, at first. Yes, I don't know. We could go anywhere, but but uh, yes, me and Axel did that, and uh, yeah, it's a huge. I can't take it down. It's just in the middle middle of the room. Uh, and we keep adding with all the presents. They're all pirates, so we keep adding to our ship. Man, I don't have the heart to take it down because it's so great. I'm like, what am I going to do there. when the ship? Right. <laughs> when the ship comes in. Yeah. Let's talk about the album, man. Yes. Now, yeah. now, you you got to be a fan of many, and many are a fan of Fergie. Mm-hmm. How do you pick someone that gets on an album that you worked so hard to put together? And this is this is your baby. Mm-hmm. How do you invite someone in to hold your baby with you? Well, it's, I got very special mm-hmm. guests on this album. I was so blessed to get Nicki Minaj. Mm-hmm. And she's just, she's such a wonderful MC, uh, great artist, very detailed, uh, like myself. Mm-hmm. We're both very detailed individuals. And, and she just, um, it, was, it was amazing because we talked one time and it was our fans who were like, you know, telling us you should like do a record should. together. And we just said our fans, you know, really you know, thinks this would be a good idea. And so we talked about it and we started another project and then it wasn't right. And then Will I Am to this track, You Already Know, which is based on, you know, it's samples. Mm-hmm. I love a good sample, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Barabbas and DJ Easy Rock. Yes. And, too. and then also with that samples is uh, James Brown singer Lynn Collins' song called Think. Oh, think you about better it. think. Yes, think you know. About exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, well, and so then uh, g- doing that, having kind of my kind of 
you know, old school. I like to go old school a little bit when I, you know, <laughs> do my back. rap, do my little raps. <laughs> I have fun. Uh, but but uh, yeah, and she's just totally, she comes in and she's totally, she's totally Nikki and she just blessed it with bars and it's just amazing. So, and it's definitely one of those ones that'll be at the club and you'll just, you're just going to want to dance to it and that's just it. And what's the relationship with Rick Ross as well? Rick Ross. Oh my Ross. gosh. Yeah, well, so the, so you already know it's like, it's a bossy song, boss. Mm. You know, it's about feeling yourself. And then uh, and then Rick, Rick Ross, um, basically I had this song called Hungry, mm-hmm. which I, I started with a long time ago. I actually released trailers. I'm Basically, <laughs> I'm, basically in, in, through this whole thing, I'm just the biggest tease on the planet. Go ahead now, <laughs> hello. I, I won't, I won't, I'll, I'm a good Catholic girl and I won't give it up until like, yeah. we've been like a tease <laughs> for 11 if years, man. If you want me, you'll wait. Uh, you know yeah. I, I just if keep you giving me, you'll you'll a little bit, going to different bases. That's basically the, the my so whole we, overall strategy. We slide into home plane on Friday. Big, I, I guess my, yes. Okay. It is happening. We're <laughs> christening it. Uh, so so uh, Ross, so I had this, I had these trailers called like first bite and second bite because I basically the album's kind of like a meal, mm-hmm. like some desserts, and some songs are you know appetizers, some songs are you know real meaty and pasta, you know, mm-hmm. you get it, <laughs> <laughs> saucy. She like big, you get it, saucy, saucy. 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 You with five hundred so. pounds, yes, so. <laughs> you know, dessert, love some food. So so when- so 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 we um so that was that, and it wasn't. You know, it was kind of just going to be the intro of my album. And then um, I was blessed. I was sent over a surprise. And it was Rick Ross on the song. And I just about died because I used to hike up in the hills. And I would have my, you know, my my playlist? D- detox headphones on, right? And there's all these like people like, you know, and they're just hiking up there. <laughs> feeling the earth. And I'm like blasting. Full blast, Rick Ross. Mm-hmm. No joke. You know, Maybach music. I'm like, you got the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, full on, like, it gets me hype. Like, I like hip hop. When I work out, I even yeah. in nature, I'm just, it gets me going, gets me agitated, gets me aggressive, and I, I go harder. So, and I used to think about it like, what if, because that, that's my zen. It's like, I would dream. I have like a big, I'm a big dreamer. I'm, I've always been, and I just thought, wow. That would be so amazing. Would Rick Ross ever do a song with me? Mm. I don't even know. But I put it out there. Like, I was on that nature. So the maybe there's something about that and getting mm-hmm. in your zen and manifesting. I really do believe that because it was like, and he says something like, it, he says something in his verse, um, I must be telepathic. Oh. Yeah. And so it's weird. It's like he had this vision and I had this vision separately and it's crazy. So we got together, did the video, and it's just like the ultimate. So for every Boss song, you did do a video. So yeah. you did one with Nicki Minaj yeah. as well. Every, yeah, yeah, mm, absolutely. What is that going to look right. like? Hello. <laughs> yes. y'all, y'all. You'll see. Fergie, what's what's the relationship with Fergie, Black Eyed Peas? Are you a member? Are you on a solo thing right now? What, what What's the relationship? Define yeah, if you can. I've, I'm a member of Black Eyed Peas. I've never, we've never broken up. I've mm. never left. That rumor just comes up like every six months. It's just like the one that just keeps on going. Because people don't have nothing to talk about I don't sometimes. Know. I don't know, but but... Will there whatever, production on the album as whatever. well? Whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Right. The, uh, you already know in another song called Nothing, mm-hmm. and uh, it, which is like a kind of more of a mm, like a nod to, I would say, late 80s, early 90s New York style hip hop. Mm-hmm. Uh, for, you'll see. But you you'll know see. what? But, but, but yes, Will I Am, they're, fam- they're absolutely family, 100% love. Family, I actually miss those guys right now. Mm-hmm. We've, both, we've been so busy. They're doing their project, yeah. Masters of the Sun, and you know we're just supporting each other. Why you weren't a part of that? Is it because you're working? Oh yeah, I can't even. I can't even get this damn album done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I get like there's no extra time in my day. I used to think about working out as like, oh my gosh, I gotta go work out, and I take my time, and you know, <laughs> around. Now I gotta. A limited time yeah. where I'm in between Window. emails. I'm Axel. I'm doing the whole thing. I'm like eating on the go. I get to the gym. I'm like, okay, do not email. Do not write. Do mm-hmm. not call. I'm on an island. And it's actually become, and I'm going with this. I don't know if it's going to change. It's become like my time. Right, right, right. <laughs> Being there. Yeah. time. So weirdly, never even expected this. It became something that I feel is a present to me, which is so mm-hmm. backwards. So I used to be like, ugh. Mm. I have to go to the gym. Yeah. So, going to the gym sucks. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. it's kind of like a mental time for me to just get some, get Relaxing. a mental some mental space. And you've had a great solo success as well. So 
you've 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 been on stage and looked to the side and haven't seen at Will I Am Taboo before. I don't know if it feels strange or whatever, but but we also know that Fergie, when you do a solo album, you do a solo album. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think that people are always trying to like people are always trying to find something. Like we mm-hmm. we had the black eyed peas in here as well. And I did ask Quentin, it was like, no, you know, she's doing her thing. She's always gonna be a part of this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's crazy that you guys say it and people still Yeah, like, I'm not don't the thing is this, it. what am I supposed to do? Be like, don't make music, wait. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, right. but, you know, everyone should make music. If you want to make music, you should make music because that is a beautiful thing. And music is comes from love and it fills people up and it makes people feel whole. Mm-hmm. We're all people that make music. We're just going to keep doing that. And I can't tell somebody to wait. If you had like, a Black Eyed Peas, Fergie mm-hmm. playlist, five songs. Oh gosh, this is too hard. <laughs> now, this is what too would hard. you put in that playlist and why? I don't know. Just take five of our songs, I guess. It's like, yeah. which one? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, like, like Big, don't you love all your like, kids? Let me see. Well, shut yeah. up then. Uh, right, yeah. <laughs> like, it's... Uh, I mean, is this like our song? Right. This is gonna this could get in a whole other oh, really though? situation. Oh, yeah, well, let's yeah. not. Because then but, we'll be like, okay, remember that song, Black Sheep? You know what I mean? Who's the Black Sheep? We'll be like talking about scenario. No, no, I'm know? talking about we'll if it was Black Eyed Peas songs and Fergie songs. Okay, okay. If I'm, it was I'm just five talking about of clubs them. That, like club songs no, that we not, like to go out and dance to. And, and anyway. No, if, if you were to pick five okay. songs for a playlist, what, what would it be from Fergie and Black Eyed Peas? What would those songs be and why? Like okay. I like performing this one. I like when we was in front of a million oh, people. Yeah. The well, energy. I, sorry, my lipstick's on here. Hello, so, okay, we're so gonna sell it. I'm gonna <laughs> please. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I uh, I got a feeling, of yes. course. Boom, boom, mm-hmm. pow. Mm. Yes. Yes. You, we're gonna say yes after each one you say. Right. So get well, used to it. Where's love? Yes. Sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna pick two of my songs. Uh, for just for like you know a break from. Yeah, yeah. We'll do. We'll do. I would do. Probably, hmm. That's Fergalicious and glamorous. Yes. yes. <laughs> that and you know what's Gotta crazy about that? That's the problem with having so many damn hits. Yes. Yeah. Because she okay. came to the end like, okay, like damn. damn. And I can I see that you was going through a playlist in your head. Yeah, because the thing is, those songs I've actually performed on tour with the piece. So for mm-hmm. me, it's like I can see those songs with them. But the new stuff, it's like you know, eventually I would love to go on tour with the bees, mm-hmm. you know, after, I, but I, I need to do this for myself, this, uh, this dream. I need to follow this destiny that I have, this path, this Dharma, this, mm-hmm. that I've set out to do. It's God. It's my, it is it. I already, I know I'm one with God. It is, I am supposed to be doing this and there is not a doubt in my mind that I'm supposed but you, to do this. It. What so, you do, Fergie, you do so well. Thank you, baby. And then the same Fergie, like I've never seen you anywhere and, 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 and not just me, to other people too, mm-hmm. where you're not Fergie, where you're not nice and you're That's not, so you know humble. what I'm saying? <laughs> so humble nice. and humble. warm and you come back to people and you talk mm-hmm. to people. And, and you I know remember. that there's a business of, you know, we got to get somebody through. We got to get somebody through. And sometimes that, that happens. Yeah. But when you have, I've seen you take so much time with people. And that's why it's so easy to wish you nothing but the best on on your album and success. Thank and you. and characters was being spoke about you when you're not in the room. Mm-hmm. And people say the most beautiful things about you. You know, Aww. and it's not about oh those are big boys kids. Like I, I, you know, I've been around where I see a lot, and you see a lot, and you notice certain things, man. You always been. You always been mm-hmm. A one, man. So I we wish you nothing Aww, but the that's best. That's my heart. This is my family. Real walkie <laughs> talkie, man. <laughs> Fergie, thank you for coming into thank the neighborhood. You. Thank Anything you before so we break? Much. Yes. Go ahead now. I just have one. What are we gonna learn about you on Double Dutches that we haven't already learned about you? Ooh, okay. She's getting deep. Well, if you see the if you look at the album cover, uh, you see that I have like a a, va- a painted mask on. And it's, it's kind of it's the girl that's that has the mask on and has all the accoutrement mm-hmm. and all of that. And then it's, you pull the mask back. Cause one of the lyrics mm. in one of my songs is, um, got blisters under the bandaid over my life. Mm. Gonna rip it open and show the world what's there. Lord knows I'm not perfect. There's another line that makes it all rhyme, but I didn't add that one. But, <laughs> but, but, but it's about ripping back that mask and it's about having, having that mask on and and part of that is that my aggressive side and my and, and I have like a really hard aggressive side and I also have a really fun and very show and very laughing very mm. you know just fun and I love to laugh at things but larger than life yeah and then you take off all that that stuff and then underneath I'm very 
I have a very tender side mm-hmm. and a very serious side, and I'm, you know, I I love really hard. Mm-hmm. I'm very emotional, and I'm and it's really sh- getting to the to the it's all the whole gamut. Uh, it was it. really I'm I was fearless in kind of opening up my soul and just letting it there, and just like who cares, mm. you know, talking about pain and love and and hurt and 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 we're all just a little bit broken and and just different things. Uh, that I've experienced in life from different relationships, not necessarily all romantic, but yeah, all over the gamut relationships. And so it's just it's about that and that and and just letting you into me, my, not only my brain, which is like a crazy fun experience. Go see it at I Pick <laughs> on September twentieth on Wednesday, or, or get it on the deluxe version. For eleven ninety nine, you, you own should. the whole thing. Get it, you, you, own you, thing. you can play it when you're not on Wi Fi. You just own it. Eleven ninety nine. Uh, pre orders on now, 922, not 911, 922. Hello. Hey. Mm-hmm. But, That's really smart. You know what I'm saying? Levels. Bro. I love it. But yeah, it's, it's um, so, so hard in the soft. That's another theme hard in the soft side. Um, the dark, the dark side, get into the dark side a little bit with me there. I go into some of those stories. Mm-hmm. Um, and the lighter side. Some of it's super fun and light. And we're not always funny. at the club. Yeah. No. But no, no, when no. we're at the club, super, we celebrate. So exactly. Hello. We're laughing, we're dancing, we're, ha- we're braggadociousing. That is, <laughs> yes, braggadocious sing. Yeah. Oh, that's a new word. Yeah, we put that one down, too, with our yeah. fabulous We've got to educate ourselves. Hey. Hey. As we should. Hey. Hey. Thank you for coming into the neighborhood, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Fergie Double Dutches Fergie. in stores Friday, September 22nd. We appreciate you, Fergie. Fergie, Fergie! Hey. And we love you, big boys big neighborhood. Boy.